well, we don't call them, I suppose we don't call them ghosts as yeah. uh, such in the Hollywood style. Um, the spirits of people, I suppose, right. that's passed on, usually everything uh, suddenly. Um, we've never felt threatened by it. Yeah. I mean, they've never interfered with us or made life difficult or anything like that. They just really let us know they're here. Do you ever see anything? Oh, we do, yeah. Are you doing yeah. it now? We experience them in lots of ways. Um, we hear them. We tend, tend to hear them, I suppose, at night time. Uh, no, it's not that it's a night time thing, but it's just so quiet here at night that, that uh, we just get to hear everything. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 and it's unbelievable how quiet it is here. And um, we see quite a lot of them. Uh, sometimes, uh, I, sometimes it's plainly as I see you now. Sometimes it could be like a cloud, like an aura, you know, around them, or maybe just around parts of them. Uh, depends. Um, there's a lady here that touches off people and brushes off people, and in the last, well, it's nearly three years now. Uh, over that period, Pierre or Dawson come, just coming out here. She's been poked, she, she, and I think it's the same lady that's doing that. Um, that's kind of, there are times when it's active and there are quiet times, you know. Um, and But there's no pattern to that either. It can be at yeah. any time for any length of time, really. But when it is active, um, you tend to get a lot of these kind of, I don't know how to describe it, it's like shadows almost, with things flashing in the corner of your eye. But you can't pin on them down, like, but you know things are happening around, like, you know. And then sometimes then it kind of manifests itself that way that we can see them. Probably the ones we meet most of all are two little girls that play here. And they lived here. We know a good bit about them now. They lived here in the um, early 1600s. We're not sure if they're the last of the accounts or the first of the, the Darbys. I'm certainly about to have married in here. Um, their first names are very, are very English, though it's Charlotte and Emily. But then the Irish and the Gaelic lords at the time were starting to take English first names because they're just to kind of keep in with London to keep, keep them happy. And as well as that, the English found it difficult to get their tongues around um, a lot of the Irish names anyway at the time. So um, they, 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 Charlotte and Emily, Emily we think is about 11 or 12. Uh, and Charlotte, again, we're only kind of estimating this, we think maybe six or seven around that age. But Emily, um, now they seem to play around in their own time. They, I don't think they're aware of us at all. They, they don't seem to be anyway. Um, Emily, we know, fell off the southeast corner of the castle and was killed. Uh, probably made her way up there. You see, at the time, there was no, it wasn't man, there was no centres up there or anything. Uh, they probably sort of made their way up, and, or she made her way up and um, shouldn't have, but she fell off it. Now, the only really chilling thing that we experience is we occasionally hear these screams, and we think it's the screams of her falling. Again, we're not 100% sure, but it's definitely a frightening kind of a scream, you know. And the little one, Charlotte, um, she is a very badly deformed right leg. It's almost completely turned backwards. We don't know really how she died other than at that time, just after the Battle of Kinsale, which was in 1601, one of the worst famines that ever hit Ireland and hit it. So possibly she contracted something, you know, associated with that. Now, they weren't hungry here or anything, but that wouldn't have kept away what went to his family at the time. Um, now, the lady I was talking about, the touches off people and all that, uh, we call her the governess. The reason being, she's always around when the two girls are around, and we think she had some association with them, because she's always here and there. And she has a very strong pattern. She comes across this way towards where the fireplace is, and, and, most, and quite a lot of people experience her, you know, and they tell us, you know, they say that, that she appears to be stoking the fire or maybe stirring a pot or something. But there was never ever a fireplace there in, in the history of the castle. And we feel from observing, you know, watching that, I have a feeling that maybe there was some kind of a daybed or a settle bed there and that she's actually going to look after the children. That's what's... what's no, we can't ever prove that, but this is the feeling we have. What's the... What's the other thing that's here? What's that? Huh? What's the name of the other thing that's here? Was the it elemental. Elemental, the half, the boat faces or something, isn't it? Yeah, but we've never experienced never that. Mm -hmm. Not since we came here, no. Is that because one of the women was used to date a witchcraft or something, wasn't it? Or yes, um, Mildred's Derby, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But I think she upset things in the house, you know. Uh, 
at that time, but we have never experienced that since, we, even though it's the most documented right down to the centuries. Uh, but we haven't. No, we don't want to. <laughs> But, um, but we are told that there's a priest in the house who is um, like a guardian and protects against that negative type of or that bad energy, like, you know. But um, we, as I said, we don't want to experience the elemental mm -hmm. energy, for sure. Like, you know. um, it's very eerie, isn't it? Uh, it's different. I mean, with the, I suppose, uh, yeah, it's different. We, we, it's fine for us, but we live a lot by candlelight, and if people come in at night and. Uh, the candles are not the they find it unusual, I suppose. Mm. Yeah. But we like candles. Uh, no, we, we have electricity, of course, and you can't read very well, but especially with uplights like that. So we do, if you want to read, you have to have electricity.